Rudolf Christian Carrie Diesel, born on 18th March 1858 in the House of Rue, Notre Dame de Nazareth, Paris, France, was the second of three children born to Elise and Theodore Diesel who were Bavarian immigrants living in Paris. Rudolf was given away to a Vincennes farmer a few weeks after his birth and spent nine months with that family before he was returned to his family. The Diesel family were financially struggling at the time that the young Rudolf had to work in his father's shop making leather goods which he also delivered to consumers using a barrel. He later attended a protestant French school where his interest in technology began. He was a good student that at the age of 12 he received the Société Paul l'Instruction Elementaire Bronze Medal. He also looked forward to starting school at École Première Supérieure in 1870. But the franco prussian War began, forcing the Diesel family to move and settle in London, England. He got enrolled to further his education there. His mother, however, sent the 12-year-old Rudolf to his aunt so he could become fluent in his German language and so he could visit the Royal County Vocational College where his aunt's husband taught mathematics. Rudolf chose his career at age 14 when he wrote to his parents about his intention to become an engineer. However, his parents wanted him to have started work instead. Rudolf graduated at the top of his class in 1873 and gained admission into the Industrial School of Augsburg. He then was granted a scholarship by the Royal Bavarian Polytechnic of Munich but was unable to graduate in 1879 after falling ill with typhoid fever. He decided to engage his mind while waiting for the next examination dates to be set. He gained experience in practical engineering at the Souza Brothers Machine Works in Winterthur, Switzerland. He did not stay long at the company as he returned to Paris after his education in 1880 with the highest academic honors. While at Paris, he began working for Carl von Linde, a Munich professor in the design and construction of what is today a refrigerator and ice plant. Rudolf became the head and director of the plant one year later. While he was still working with Carl, Rudolf married Martha Flash in 1883. He also gained patent rights as Carl listed him in his patent application. Rudolf, who now had children, moved to Berlin in 1890 with his family to continue the work with Carl there. Rudolf decided to expand himself beyond the inventions of refrigerators as he could not use the patent since he was an employee of Carl's. His first work was on the steam which he built using ammonia vapor. He almost got killed once during the test when the engine exploded. In a bid to improve his work, Rudolf intended to design an internal combustion engine that would be based on thermally efficient cannot circle. He stayed working on the idea for several years until 1892 when he finally completed his work. He also patented his work that same year. The next year, Rudolf published a treatise on how to construct a heat engine that can replace the steam and combustion engines. Based on this, he invented a diesel engine, but he also realized that the first theory was wrong, so he filed another patent application for the correct theory. Rudolf had understood that the steam engine consumed and wasted 90% of fuel energy, therefore, he built his design on much higher efficiency. He created an engine that injected fuel at the end of the compression stroke and ignited by the high temperature. Rudolf had the opportunity to test and develop his idea in 1993 to 1997 in Augsburg where he had been given space by Heinrich von Bors, the director of MAN SE. When his diesel engine was tested and proven to work, Rudolf patented his work in Germany and other countries. The first diesel engine successfully ran for the first time in 1987 and is now displayed at the German Technical Museum in Munich. On 29 September 1913, Diesel was on a GER steamer SS Dresden on his way for a meeting in London where he was to meet British royals on how to power the British machines. He had his dinner and retired to his cabin looking forward to the next day, but that was the last time he was seen alive. Ten days later, his body was found on 13th October 
although it was badly disfigured and decomposing, the items found on his body were identified by his son, Eugene Diesel, as that of Rudolph. There have since been various theories on his death, with some arguing that Rudolph committed suicide, another thought being that he was murdered by German forces for refusing to grant them the exclusive rights to the use of his invention. There are no pieces of evidence for the speculations and his death still remains an unresolved mystery. Rudolph's invention of the diesel engine continued to be developed even after his death and became widespread in several other applications such as agricultural machines, submarines, ships, and a lot of others, though it had limited use for aviation due to the heaviness of its engine. Rudolph was a distinguished connoisseur of arts and was also a social theorist and linguist. In 1978, he was honored with an induction into the Automotive Hall of Fame. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.